Okay, in this video, we'll learn about the match functions. So, go to this workbook, right there's, uh, which is the 13 we look up index exercise files, right? And come over to this bottom left hand side, you see that? You right click here, right click somewhere here, right? Try a few times, you will get to this uh, menu, and then you look at the match animals. You look at this okay click okay right so over here you have the match function you follow what it says there you type match right and locate this turtle uh, which says the cell c30 which is the turtles right and then look up ray right here and put zero right close bracket match functions you get one so what essentially match tells you is that right it can return the positions. See the third is on the first. So if I change this to cat, right, it changes it to second because the cat is located at the second position. Right. So that's a essentially match function. And tiger is on the third, right? You can just change to tiger, right? You get the third. So the match functions can be very useful, right? Let's just look at the second the other worksheet then here. Now I want to know where is the true hunger located. I can use the match function as well, right? Match functions, right? And then uh, locate this and look up array and comma and put zero, right? And enter. You got five. So again, right? The true hunger is located at the fifth, fifth area, right? So that's why you get uh, the fifth. Location. So now if I change it to uh, 250, right, you get 4, you see, 2540. And that is the match functions, right? Remember there is a few more things here, right? So um, you you can also use the 1 there, right? You can add 1, you still get a 4, right? But if you use a 1 type match 1, right, here, there's a other feature you can use, right? Let's say I want one, five, one, three, three, four, eight, right? You get three, right? You get three because um, two, four, five is um, less than this. It's less than this fourth row, uh, so you get the fourth row one, right? This is a one match, less than. See that? Find the largest value that is less than or equals to the lookup value. Find the largest value that is less than or equals to the largest value. You must place in ascending order. Sorry, this is will be negative one then. Negative one, right? You get nothing. Oh, negative one is not there. So it seems like that's not the one, right? So you got one, right? One, you get three, right? This is the the third position that is less than this figure. So one is right, one, right, say so one less than, this value is less than this figure, right, it's less than, but, uh, but the largest value is less than this value, the largest value is 200, 250 is more, is actually greater than this value, so you cannot find that, so you give one, right, okay, so you get this value. So how do you use this negative one, right? So in order to do that, you got to um, rephrase it to like this. Uh, unfortunately, there's no not quite a value there. Okay, so you arrange it in a descending order, and then your lookup value will be the same. So now. Instead of that, you refer to, you click on this area and you refer to here. And you change to negative 1 then. So you get the fourth. So what is negative 1, right? Again, right, you can see uh, from the screen structure here, find the smaller, if you use negative 1, find the smallest value that is greater than or equals to that lookup value. So which are the value that is greater than the 248? Yeah, this is the value, right? It's greater than or equals to the lookup value. So, 
However, this has to be arranged in the ascend descending order. So we get negative 1 and enter 4, right? This is the value that is greater than the 2, 4, 8 or equals to, right? It's greater than, so it's the fourth value. So it may not be exactly matched, but uh, these are the values that's greater than, right? So if I change to 1, uh, 6, 7, right? So we get the fifth value because this is the value that is greater than that. And that's complete the three types of match function, right? Uh, generally, you just need to focus on the zero, which is the exact match. Most widely used is the match function. And thanks for watching.